Hey there everyone, I'm going to be doing something that I haven't done in a long, long, long time, and that is review a video game. Now, you may be asking, what video game are you going to be reviewing, Zen? Well, I'm going to be reviewing a game that came out on June 25th of this year, and if you don't already know, that's the Deadpool game. Now, this game is good. Uh, it's made by High Moon, the people behind the Transformers games, uh, War for Cybertron and Fall of Cybertron, which both games I love. Uh, I do love High Moon as a studio. They do great games. This game fell short of my expectations. Um, you know, with a character like Deadpool, you can do a lot. Um, the campaign is short. You know, I think it's only eight levels. Um, which, you know, you could have done a longer game. Uh, you could have focused on different villains. You know, you could have done something different with a Deadpool game because he is a character who breaks the fourth wall a lot. And, you know, if you like Deadpool, you'll love this game because he does break the fourth wall a lot. You can even have a conversation with Nolan North, the guy who voices him, which is pretty fucking hilarious. Um, you know, there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of that those kind of moments. You know, uh, I'm not going to go into too many spoilers uh, if you haven't already played the game, but there's a scene where you have Wolverine. He's knocked unconscious. Deadpool this, you can interact with uh, Wolverine, and you can slap him. And there's an achievement for slapping him until the game says, okay, I'm fucking done, I'm not going to smack him anymore. And that's the kind of shit that you would expect from a Deadpool game. Now, you know, Deadpool's known as the Merc with the Mouth, and he does have some pretty funny one-liners, but the problem is a lot of them get recycled, which, you know, can get annoying, um, you know, it would have been funny, I mean, it is Deadpool, so they could have wrote lines of him saying, you know, wow, they couldn't pay anybody to write any more one-liners. You know, that's what I was, like, craving at those times when I would hear things constantly. Just for that one line to kick in and be like, oh, well, wow, they couldn't pay anybody, you know, any money to write more one-liners. Um... And you can't tell me that's not something that Deadpool would do. I mean, he talks about the game constantly throughout the fucking game. You know, he talks about the budget. He has conversations with uh, a member of High Moon Studios. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's, it really is a good game, but it does fall short. Um, the comment, combat is fun. Um, the story, you know, it, it has to involve... <laughs> So it involves Deadpool, so it's going to be a bit outlandish, which I don't mind. I'm a big fan of Deadpool. I love him in all incarnations. I loved him in Marvel Ultimate Alliance. I think it was two he was in. I think even in one he was in, but I think he had to unlock him. But, you know, uh, I feel they could have done things better. And I really do like High Moon. I love them as a studio. I mean, I love the Transformers games. They're really fun. And there's actually a funny little homage to the Transformers games. Uh, because there's a scene where in, uh, Deadpool's in the Sentinel booth. And he's, uh, I think it's before he actually blasts off for the first time. And he says, okay, let's roll out. And one of the voices is like, wrong franchise. Which I find pretty funny. You know, they could have done that more. Um, but... It could have, it would have gotten annoying after a while to have them just keep, you know, having <laughs> references to the Transformer shit. Um, they have a great cast of characters, you know, Cable, um, Wolverine, Psylocke, uh, Domino, uh, Rogue, and it really is, it's an entertaining game. Um, it's like 50 bucks plus tax. It, so it's less expensive than a, you know, recent release game of any other kind of caliber. And I think it's good that it's at a discounted price because I don't think it's worth 60 bucks, in my opinion. You know, it's like a three and a half, four 
out of five game. But you know, it 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 gets annoying every time, like every time you use the hammer weapons to have a, to hear Deadpool go Deadpool smash because they could have come up with other things. They could have wrote other Marvel character lines besides you know the Hulk. They could have gone with a Thor comment once in a while. You know, they could have thrown Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles shit in there. You know, because they do, you do have size. You could have Raphael lines. You could have thrown them in there. Um, I I don't know. They, they I feel they could have done more with the character of Deadpool, but they didn't. They didn't utilize him properly. Um, they utilized him really well, but they didn't utilize him to the best of his ability. You know, they they, they didn't. And what bothers me really is the story is really really short. Uh, the story's good, you know, it's funny, but it's short. And maybe hopefully they'll do DLCs or something that extends the story or uh, just makes a new story. It would be fucking awesome. Uh, <laughs> you know, there's an achievement which I find really hilarious where you can actually turn down this dialogue volume to zero and you'll get a, an achievement and it says only when he stops breathing, which I find is pretty funny. And you get two achievements when you start the game, which is pretty fucking entertaining, because he actually mentions, like, wow, an achievement? I haven't even accomplished anything. Which is, which I find really funny. It really is funny to me. Um, and the humor is pretty... It, it's darkly humorous, and, you know, some, some of it's retarded. You know, stupidly stupid. Um, silly. Just, it really is silly. I mean, it's fucking Deadpool. What the fuck do you expect? You know, his dog, he calls his dog Red Rocket. You know, fucking in the beginning. It's silly, stupid. There's a bounce house in the game. You know, it, it fucking... There's fake endings. It's, it's funny. And, like, the interaction between Deadpool and Cable is really funny. Because he keeps popping up. Every time he beats Sinister, Cable pops up and is like, no, it's a clone. And, like, the final time you beat Sinister, he's like, that is the real him, right? And the Cable pops into our time, and he's like, he gives him a thumb up, like, yeah, he's like, alright, cue the credits. <laughs> and I wish they had done something better with the, like, I wish they had done something different with the credits, because they've done entertaining things in the credits before, you know? I think it was for Fall of Cybertron. They had a bro explosion. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I forgot who it was, but they did a burst explosion with two Transformers in, at the end of uh, Fall, for, Fall of Cybertron. Which is, which is, I mean, it's funny. But they, they could have done things like that. They could have had random shit in the credits. But they didn't. You know, it's a bit annoying. Like, they'll do it in the Transformers game, but they won't do it in the Deadpool game? No, I don't know. No, I just, it really does seem weird. Um... You know, there. It really is funny. I'm actually playing through it on Ultra Violence, which I think is the. I think that's the name of it. It's Ultra something. It's the hard, hardest difficulty because I want to get try and get all the achievements and stuff. And it is just brutal. That fucking. <laughs> it ramps up in difficulty really fucking fast when you go from like veteran to Ultra Violence. Uh, you die a lot if you're shitty like I am, on veteran. But like. Ultra violence, you die like that. It's fucking annoying and ridiculous. Luckily, you can go back once you beat the game on like normal or easy. And after you have all of your weapons upgraded, it's really fucking easy, which is good. Um, and there's actually an achievement that I like where you upgrade yourself overpowered. Like I think it's called overpowered or something. And yeah, it's it's there's an achievement for being overpowered. Like with all your upgrades, which is, which I find again pretty entertaining. You know, they even address like, like, go get some upgrades in the beginning of the game. It's like go get some upgrades or buy some upgrades. And he's like, why would you do that? He's like, because it'll make us more badass. And it's like, that's that's impossible. And it's like, well, it's called progression. <laughs> and you know, there are some strange like weird moments when you're in the sewers and it cuts to like top down game and it's fucking weird and it's awesome 
So I think I've said all I can say. You know, I've tried to be fair. Um, it's a good game. You know, if you like gore, you know, it's rated M. So, I mean, only if you're 17 and over fucking get this game. Because if you don't, I'll beat the shit out of you. Uh, blood and gore, intense violence, mature humor, sexual content, strong language. Yeah, I, fucking all of that. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. It really fucking is. Uh, I give it a three and a half to four out of five. Seven, ten, seven and a half to eight out of ten. Um, I say rent it before you play it to make sure you like it. Because I know even it's even though it's at a discounted price, you may want to play it before you buy it just to make sure that you don't waste the money. Okay, that has been a review by yours truly. The nerdiest motherfucker probably on the internet, or at least approaching the nerdiest person. <sighs> like this video, share it, favorite it, video responds it if you want. Peace out.